Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Minnesota Taste Buds. Today we have a very special episode. It's a homemade episode. We're going to be doing my homemade wing, Evan's homebrewed beer. And we also have a special guest joining us today for an unbiased review of our wings, but not Evan's beer because he doesn't drink beer. So He's just we, here for the wings. Yeah, just here for the wings. Like anyone else. Would be. And our company. <laughs> so, But um, we are going to get right down to it and we're gonna do a little videotaping I think of the process of making the wings and then we'll be back shortly. In the oil in. <laughs> can you see your face. <laughs> yeah. We had a little mess. Tell them what happened Jeff. Well we didn't have enough oil because I didn't know Evan got this gargantuan guess this huge deep fryer and we still might not have enough oil. Really? We're, we'll be at, we'll be at the minimum. Which you don't want to be at the maximum anyway. Now we wait. We wait for the oil to be hot enough. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. Wings, baby. Until the wings are getting ready. Cheap, great value, garlic powder. It all tastes the same. Nice and crispy. Saucing. This is a very delicate procedure. You take the wing, like so, and you drop it in the sauce. See, now, most people be like, oh, since I'm making these garlic parmesan, why aren't you putting the parmesan in the sauce with, like, in general? And you know why I do, don't do that? Because I think it's better if you sprinkle it over the top. It gives it that nice parmesan flavor. And the final topping. John Charlie Charlie Buffalo. Charlie Parmesan Buffalo. It's homemade. My specialty. Don't those look delicious? Oh yeah. Alright. We'll be back with our review. Alright. Well, we're back. Um, wings are done. The beer is out. And we're going to call our special guest over here. John, you want to come over here and join us? Right. If everybody's wondering, this is John. Another one of the buddies we work hey, with. Hey, Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley, he's pretty stoked on these wings, watching it all get done. He's like, it's like a restaurant. He likes here. wings. He likes wings, but had, he doesn't drink had beer. Had a lot of wings in your so life. He, oh, absolutely. But we, I'm instead not. of him having beer, he's drinking root beer. So you want to grab your root beer? You might have to do a little review on this root beer that we got for you. <laughs> I think you know, I've never heard what company it's from. I think it's yeah. uh, A and W. Yeah, something. I like, think that's it's brand new. Yep. So yeah, this is so. Evan's beer that he brewed approximately about a month and a half ago. Mm, yeah, about a month and a half or two months ago. Yeah. It was actually part of like kit, so it wasn't my own recipe, but yeah, right. eventually try out my own recipe. Well, I'm gonna try the beer first. It's like a it's brown. A it's like a brown ale. Hopefully, you guys can see me here. I don't know how much you can, but 
It's it's a darker beer. All right, well, it smells like beer. It smells good. All right, should we uh, get some of these wings then? Mm, that's good. That beer is good. That's toasty. It's toasty, darker beer, but it's not like super heavily dark flavored. Well, here we go, guys. My wings. Cheers. Wing ding. Wing All right. Ding. Be gentle on me. All right. Well, the sauce seems good. The sauce is good. It's like buffalo sauce. There's like parmesan. The only thing I will say is they could be a little bit more crispy. Well, we did bring them down. They took a little couple minutes, but yeah. I think they're delicious. It's really good. <laughs> And I'm happy it's not super hot. Yeah. See, that's why a little bit more butter, mm -hmm. it takes away that super hot hotness to it. Yeah, these are good. I was afraid that they're going to be too garlicky. You get that garlic flavor, but that Parmesan just mm -hmm. really pushes it over the top. Yeah, the only thing I say is if they could just be a little bit more crispy maybe on the skin. But besides that, it tastes good. All right, John, what's your personal opinion? I think it's very good. Like I said before, I'm happy it's not overpoweringly hot. Right. So, I mean, you can actually taste the flavor. They're not overcooked. Right. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> They're just really good. It's kind of like a light buffalo sauce. Mm hmm You still get that kind of buffalo sauce flavor, but it's not just like burning your mouth. If you guys are interested in the recipe, which is very simple, or you want to know exactly like how i do this um send a comment like it subscribe share and if uh yeah if you want to know just let us know in the comment section and uh, i'll make sure to uh let you know how i do it real question though the combination from your wing and the beer oh it, it's good oh it's good i just love wings kind of like having some bread how's your root beer delicious <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like going to, you know, I mean, for a, a bag of like four, a four pound bag is like seven, eight bucks and you get four pounds, which is equivalent to like 32 wings, pretty close. There's a lot of wings in the bag. If you want to save some money instead of going to Buffalo Wild Wings and get way better flavor, this is the way to go about it. This is much better than Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. It is much better. Definitely. I, mean, I don't think nowadays is that hard to be better than Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. But... Sorry, Buffalo Wild Wings. We just not a big fan and you're too overpriced. Well, I don't know. I mean, they used to be decent, though. Mm -hmm. I think it's just with a lot of the bigger wing places. And I've even seen online that they're just starting, there's kind of a decline. Chicken wing has got more expensive. The thing that gets me about these wings so much that I make is that Parmesan cheese just adds something to it that makes it, like, just to another level. Yeah, there's a little bit extra in there. But you know what we forgot to do? Put some ranch. So we got three wings left. John doesn't like ranch. I'm going to grab the ranch, and I'm going to have Evan try this with some ranch. We're back with the ranch. Mm. See what it's like with ranch on it, because I love ranch. Yeah, that makes it even just sweeter. Mm-hmm. Mm. Takes off a lot of that. All right, well. So if you had to give these out of a five, what would you say, Evan? I know you don't like to give anything a five, so I'm not 4. expecting that. 4.9. 4.9? They're, they're that good? I love them. I'm going to give them a five because I made them, so I'm, I'm biased. Yeah, you're John, biased. How about you? 4.5. 4.5? Mm -hmm. So you could, you still have half a point to get better. Half a point, you could get better. Beer was good. Up. Yeah, beer was good. Really good. Yeah, it's changed a little bit since I originally made it, but it's become more toasty. Originally when I made it, it was more, it was more fruity and kind of tarty. Also had a little bit of a honey flavor to it. And I think it kind of leveled out over the next couple weeks. So kinda That's going to do it for yeah. our review. So It's a little special episode. John, thanks for coming on here and yeah. trying some of these wings out. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, we will see you guys next time. So as always, you know. We'll have another brew and poo. We'll have another brew and poo. So on Friday. We'll, we will see you guys next time. We're going to finish these beers here. And, uh, and the wings. And go make some more wings. All right. All right.